Hey guys, it's Naomi. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup tutorial. And I just got these new brushes for Christmas and also this new palette, eyeshadow palette. And I really like it. It's so pretty. My sister got me the palette. And my grandma got me some makeup brushes and Santa got me a makeup brush. And I also just got that beauty blender. I, sorry, I just had to get a wipe. And um, today I'm going to be mixing these two foundations together because pretty much they're not my color so let's see how it turns out um yeah so yeah so i'm just going to be dabbing it on as so and um blending it in so don't judge me if it looks a little pale because it will so yeah by the way, um, the powder, if when I put it on after I um, blend my um, foundation, it makes my face look a little pale. So sometimes I just normally like put bronzer over the foundation or also over the powder, but I don't want it to be too dark because that would look pretty bad. I don't normally wear um, makeup on a daily basis because I just feel like it, yeah. And so right now I'm just putting my concealer on just to lighten up um, the under of my eyes because they were pretty dark because I did not get that much sleep last night. So yeah. Also, if you are wondering how I learned to do makeup, I just kept watching my sister do it like every day because we used to share a room, but now she moved downstairs. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much how I learned it. And she just like, oh, you do this and you do that. So right now I am just blending my concealer and I am blending it with my favorite beauty blender that I just got. It's so, like, oh, I love it. Um, and it's just really, really soft. And normally after um, concealer and foundation, I put powder on. So after I put my powder on, I use bronzer. And um, bron my bronzer is in the same palette as my powder. So now I'm going to be starting to put my bronzer on and I'm going to be using this brush. It makes my bronzer pretty much go, like put a lot of bronzer on my cheekbone. So I'm gonna be using concealer to help it make it look more like a point. And I'm just gonna be putting it like on my jawline, my nose and like the bone where my forehead is or whatever that's called. Sometimes it's really hard for me to blend bronzer because it just turns out like really dark, like for my nose. Um, and it just goes everywhere. That is why I use concealer to make it like, so bronzer is not on the places I don't want it to be on like, um, maybe on my cheek and not like on the cheekbone or or the jawline I mean and sometimes on the top of my nose and sometimes like on the top of my forehead <laughs> after bronzer I'm going to be using my blush my favorite one that I always use as you can see um there's not that much in it and it has a mirror in it, but I don't normally use it. I have a light up mirror that I switch on. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to be doing my second favorite thing of makeup is highlight, highlighter. Um, and I love using my brush right there. It's literally my favorite. It's so soft. And it just works really well with highlighter. And, I mean, 
it's used for highlighter fan brushes. So that's probably why. <laughs> So, um, after I do eyeshadow, well, which I'm doing right now, um, I have a lot of favorite colors in there, but after I do my eyeshadow, um, I sometimes do eyeliner, but sometimes I don't because eyeliner can get very, very tricky to do. Um, so you'll see me mess up a little and just be really annoyed by it because, um, so, like, one eye is perfect, and then you try to do the other eye, and it's like, no, I messed up, and then you have to, like, take take it off. Um, This is one of my favorite colors to use. I normally use it on the upper part of my eyelid, kind of by my brow bone, um, and it just helps, like, my eye kind of pop out. Not, like, my eye, but, like, my eyelid. Eyeshadow at some times it can get very very hard because you just it, it's pretty much hard to blend because the crease in your eyelid it really looks bad. Now I'm going to be doing the other eye, and that eyeshadow took forever to get it perfect, but it is actually not perfect. I don't really like it that much. I'm really bad at makeup. This part, I just pretty much cut out all the eyeshadow part because, I mean, you pretty much know what I have done with the other eye, so that's what I did with the eye I'm doing right now. After that, I am going to be doing some eyeliner, but I mess up so I really won't have eyeliner on. Yay! This is where I mess up a lot on the eyeliner, and my face is like... Ew, I don't like it. Um, and I keep literally having to take it off with my makeup wipe. And it gets really annoying, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I messed up so bad. This is why I um don't do eyeliner that much. And I used to be like really, really good at it. And now I'm really bad for some reason. I have no idea. Like just one day I was like good and then the other day I'm like, wait, where did, 
example, where did my skills go with eyeliner? Eyeliner is so hard to do, and it, oh my gosh, it looks like I'm crying, but I'm not, guys. Okay, so you see that eyeliner on the other side? Why is it good? Okay, guys, I've ha I have a new obsession. It's rose gold, so. I love this one, and I have rose gold glitter, so. Don't play me, guys, because I... Literally, I'm obsessed with those gold. I think it's just a really popular color right now. Um, and um, I'm not like a girly girl, but I'm like in the middle of that kind of. So that is why I love those gold. And this YouTuber named Gabby, she, Gabby and Nikki, Nikki and Gabby. Um, well, Gabby got me really into rose gold because she's like my favorite. And also Nikki, she's my favorite also. So this is a lip tint. It looks like it doesn't have anything on it, but it does. It just has a tiny bit. Um, and it's like a matte color. And sometimes I put it up on my eyelids to match my eyeshadow and my lipstick. And sometimes I use it as blush. Right now, I'm having to touch up my highlighter because the blush or and the um, eyeliner that I had to take off made it go away. So, yeah. Guys, this isn't the best makeup I have done, but I like the eyeshadow and the lipstick. And right now, I'm just pretty much putting my stuff away. Yeah. <laughs> so that was just pretty much my makeup tutorial. Um, yeah. Make sure if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this a big thumbs up. And yeah. Bye.